Well, uh, thank you very much for this very kind and, of course, correct introduction. <laughs> okay. Thank you. It's a great pleasure and honor for me to be here. Um, um, for, uh, even though I know you expected my minister. So esteemed Minister Wissing, if he's still here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Hawking predicted it more than 20 years ago when he said our century will be the century of complexity. Without a doubt, he was right. The world is as complex as never before, and so are the challenges. But we hold a powerful key in our hands to master this complexity and even turn it into strength. Because of the gigantic volumes of data from industry, the healthcare sector and science will no longer be the problem but rather the solution. The deeply hidden wealth which is it harbors, we can unlock it and make it usable. Optimize traffic flows, predict weather events, or in the medical field, make quick, precise diagnosis. Develop highly specialized treatments, overcome the gender health gap. All these hopes can become reality, thanks to AI. AI is a once-in-a-century opportunity. How can we take advantage of this once-in-a-century opportunity, especially we in Germany, so that the big players like the US and China don't leave us behind for good? It must not come to that, that although we are using, making use of AI in Germany, we hardly play a part in shaping it, hardly put any of our own products on the market, hardly any own services that would put our prosperity at risk. Mr. Westerheide, you are right when you say something as big as AI also calls for great momentum in the whole of society, a, quote, cultural shift, end quote. I'd, I see it exactly as you do, and yes, it begins with the youngest at our schools, preparing them for life, for a life of gigantic leaps in innovation. For that, they need creative basic skills. Right now, we can't even manage to ensure that everyone can read, write, and do arithmetics as well. Well, which is why our, the BMBF Startchancen program for a better educational start in life is so important. The largest and most long-lasting educational school program in the history of this country. At the same time, we are currently negotiating the Digital Pact 2.0 with the lender. We want to push for more digitalization at schools in terms of technology deployment and pedagogics. AI is absolutely part of this. Young people have been using AI for a long time already. Three quarters of 14 to 20 year olds, and it's usually not in order to cheat, I might add. What's more, a great majority is saying AI is vital for their future, for their personal development, their career success. And that is true. This open, fresh perspective of our young people, it is encouraging a reason to be glad. However, a cultural shift also means that AI must spread to all age groups, all occupational groups. Our campaigns for modern vocational education take this into account, as of course do our approaches to further training and lifelong learning. Achieving a cultural shift for AI and with AI is a cross-cutting task. I've just touched upon education. Research is the second major area. If you want to keep pace and be at the forefront, you need the power to do so, especially in research. What we have accomplished up to now is quite impressive. Six AI centers of competence, 150 AI professorships, the AI service centers, state-of-the-art computers, international competitive like the Gauss Center for supercomputing. This is a good basis to build on, but of course, no reason to let up. 
Rise of AI is forging ahead. No sign of stagnation here, nor at our mystery. Hence our AI action plan. What do we provide funding for? First, the further development of AI methods. The current models have their limits, which we want to overcome. So that AI is more flexible in its application and consumes less resources. Secondly, we are fostering early career researchers, especially women in AI research. Thirdly, we are promoting artificial intelligence in the medical field, innovative approaches to how we can share and analyze data in cancer research, for example, or in research on long COVID. Ladies and gentlemen, we are investing some 500 million euros in 2042 uh, already. That's nearly twice as much as during the entire previous, previous legislative term. At all time, with an eye to rapid transfer, moving it out of the realm of science into the business world. This is why it is so important that we provide SMEs with target, targeted advice, make it easier to establish deep tech spin-offs, promote more openness to the new. Experts are telling us that all too often we are still trading well-worn technology paths. Fabian Westerheide agrees to dare to strike out on new path with conviction, to be hungry, as he writes. This must be our goal. We are seeing the first signs of success. Take the numbers coming from the European Patent Office for 2023. 40% more German AI-related patent applications than in 2019. Or in our startup scene, here's what the German Startup Association reports. 341 AI-related startups founded in 2023. 67% more than in the previous year. What is especially interesting, nearly 40% of these new businesses are research driven. They originate from R&D projects, that is from research projects and at universities and institutes. Let's step up this momentum by focusing fully on innovation and transfer. We must aim high, a pole position in a world powered by AI. What is also plain to see, our aim to assume a leading position in the global AI race. And such a position can only be achieved in a close European cooperation. Take the example of computing power. No high performance AI is possible without it. And especially no large generative AI models. We are expanding infrastructure in Germany and Europe, making it internationally competitive. Take Jupiter. It will start operation in Jülich next year. Europe's first exascale supercomputer, one of the most powerful AI computers worldwide. How do we make better use of resources for AI? We have drawn upon up concrete measures in the Euro HPC initiative, together with our European partners. Here's where Europe's strength lies. When we pull our combined skills together, we develop something greater than the sum of its parts. Together, in Europe, we can be truly successful. Let me come to something which we mustn't forget. It was mentioned already, the AI Act. Preventing misuse, ef misuse effectively by setting clear rules with as little red tape as possible. That is important, no question. Most importantly, though, is finding the right balance. The right balance between risk protection and the drive to innovation. Startup founder Jonas Andrulis hit the nail on the head when he said, quote, participating in the future cannot be achieved through regulation, end quote. This is why I'm a proponent of looking not only at the risks, but first and foremost at the opportunities. And that's why I'm especially glad about one particular access of my ministry, AI, which is developed and used for research purposes, will be exempted from the new regulations. The AI Act is our foundation now, based on responsibility and values. But what we build upon this foundation will be 
what counts. That's what we must focus all our efforts on. We can also use our values to our own true competitive advantage as an international center of AI. The benchmark is to not slow down the future, but rather to enable it. Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps you experience this too. All too often, I still hear people say AI or you mean ChatGPT. No, artificial intelligence is far more than that. The CEO of a large microchip producer summed it up with a very apt image. In his words, quote, AI isn't like a toaster. It's not an appliance that you either use or don't use. It's more like electricity, a fundamental technology, end quote. The same way nothing works without electricity nowadays, almost nothing will work without AI in the future. Which also means the people setting the trends in this technology today decide what our world will look like in the future. It's always the same. When a new technology appears on the horizon, we have a unique opportunity. We can shape it. Let's seize this opportunity. It's why you are here, it's why I'm here, it's what brings us together. Fostering the AI ecosystem, developing rise of AI responsibly, but with a passion for the future and the courage to think big. We are tackling this task, this mission. I wish you an inspiring day and enthusiastic exchange. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.